This episode is supported by Technor Apex, maker of the Zero-G Hose, the hose that takes the work out of yard work. I'm building a mobile lathe cart storage cabinet for the shop. And yesterday I built the drawers and today I'm setting the drawers. As you can see, I've already set the bottom drawers. I'm not using metal drawer glides on this project. Number one, it's a big cost savings. And number two, I like the way the drawers run on wooden runners. So to set the drawer runners, let's call these cleats. It's a little bit easier for me to say. To set the cleats, I am using a piece of quarter inch plywood as a jig. This piece of quarter inch plywood is just a little bit taller than the bottom drawer. So I set the quarter inch plywood in the cabinet, placed the cleat on top, and then attached it to the cabinet. Now I'm ready to set the middle drawers. And since the middle drawers are a little bit smaller than the bottom drawers, I'm now going to rip the jig so it's just a little bit taller than the middle drawer. And again, I'll set it in the cabinet, place the cleat on top, and attach the cleats to the cabinet. The middle drawers measure nine and a quarter, so I'll rip my quarter inch plywood jig at nine and five sixteenths. In this case, the cleat on the outside of the cabinet is an inch and three quarters, and that's to accommodate the inch and a half face frame. So the cleat is resting on the quarter inch plywood, and I'll tack it in place with a two inch nail. Why didn't that work? I had the wrong size nail in the gun. With the cleat tacked in position, I'm now using a two inch screw. The cleat on the inside of the cabinet is one inch, so I've tacked it in place with an inch and a quarter nail, and now I'm using an inch and a half screw. For the one inch cleats on the inside of the cabinet, I've offset the pre-drill and countersink by three quarters of an inch so the screws don't meet when they're attached to the cabinet. Now that I have the last middle drawer fit, I'm going to rip the quarter inch plywood jig to fit the top drawer. The top drawer measures four inches, so I'll rip the plywood jig at four and a sixteenth. This episode is sponsored by Technor Apex, maker of the Zero-G hose. I've been using the Zero-G hose now for more than two years and I highly recommend it. It's lightweight, convenient, extremely durable, and the aluminum couplings don't leak. It's the only hose I've ever used where the couplings don't leak. And if you're looking for a project, check out the hose holder that I made last summer. I'll have a link in the description. The Zero-G hose, it's the hose that takes the work out of yard work.
After attaching all of the cleats to the cabinet and fitting the last drawer, I attached a three quarter inch spacer to the top of the inch and three quarter cleats. And that's to accommodate for the three quarter inch space that's created by the inch and a half face frame. If you have any questions on this video, definitely check out my second channel, Shop Talk. I'll have a link in the description. And that's where I'll try to answer some of those questions. The full build for this project will be coming to the channel soon. And the full instructional build, along with professional plans, will be coming to my Maker's Mob in about two or three weeks. So I hope that you'll click on the link in the description to my Maker's Mob and learn all about my step-by-step -step furniture building tutorials. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.